Giant pandas are loved around the world. We see these gentle giants on live feeds and viral videos, sliding in the snow, munching on bamboo, and mysteriously chasing their keepers. It's sometimes hard to imagine how these adorable creatures even survive in the wild without humans pampering them with cratefuls of fresh bamboo each day. But today, human encroachment and disturbance to their habitats remains one of their greatest threats. Hi, I'm Kyle Oberman, special contributor with The China Current. Pandas have been around for over 18 million years, over four times the length us hominids have existed. This begs the question, if pandas have been around for so long without human help, why are there so few left? And how can we learn from their secrets of survival to help them? Pandas aren't lazy and don't need us to feed them, but pandas need intact, healthy habitats to thrive. Once, the panda's natural habitat covered a range extending just south of present-day Beijing, all the way into Myanmar and Vietnam. But human population growth has reduced and split up habitats, making it harder for pandas to find food and breed. There are now just an estimated 1,864 pandas in the wild. Today, wild pandas are only found in a few mountain ranges near China's geographic center, Sichuan, Shanxi, and Gansu province. In order to research and protect the pandas, scientists and forest rangers spend sometimes weeks at a time in China's dense forests, tracking and setting up infrared cameras in the wild. It's incredibly taxing work. While bamboo is delicious for pandas, it makes it almost impossible for a human to get through the forest without the help of a machete. And if you are lucky enough to be taller than the guy ahead of you, it's really easy to get smacked in the face. And bamboo hurts. This is Guangba Community Protected Area in China's Sichuan province, where I recently visited to see firsthand the people working to protect and support pandas in their natural habitat. Although the region today is known as the world's number one county for pandas, and Guamba's ancient name means Valley of the Pandas, poaching in the 70s and 80s actually killed off many of the wild pandas here. But now, because of China's stricter protection measures and better foundation of research, this region has the highest concentration of pandas in the whole world. And in recent years, efforts like these have aided in growing the panda population. In Guamba, Local rangers patrol in the forest each month to stop illegal poaching and check on infrared camera traps that silently trigger as an animal passes. The conditions there aren't easy for the rangers. They sleep outdoors in shelters made from logs and old plastic tarps, and sleep on a raised bed made from sticks and hay. But they have one thing to look forward to each time they return to base camp after a full day in the mountains. Great food. When I spent time with the rangers on the reserve, the days were very tough. We usually woke up before dawn to prepare our gear, breakfast, and head out into the mountains. And we'd only come back around dusk. There are no paths in these reserves, so even hiking a few kilometers can be an arduous task. Navigating across cliffs, through thorn patches, and inside steep ravines with loose rocks and scrub. For anyone but the most experienced outdoorsman, it is almost an impossible task. So, in my experience working with these rangers, I found their spirit and dedication to protecting the wildlife around their home despite these challenges and dangers incredibly inspiring. While many of them are still living close to the poverty line, many others actually gave up higher paying jobs outside the village and came back to build this community protected area, safeguarding the panda's future. So the next time you see a cute video of cuddly pandas playing in neatly cut grass, Remember that it's because of the work and dedication of local rangers like these that we're able to know and interact with this incredible species. Without the help of forest rangers, we would know very little about pandas and have an even smaller chance at protecting their habitat and future. I am James Chow. You're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.